four heads. My father has four heads now. It's all Maya. Maya? What is Maya, my lord? My beloved Nara, I feel thirsty. Get me some water first and I shall tell you. When Narad made his way to the river, he saw a maiden by the bank. Narad was mesmerized by the ethereal beauty of that woman and forgot about Vishnu and his thirst. He married her and made a house on those sands by the river. Years came and years went by. Devarshi became a father. His tribe increased and so did his love for each one of them. This had now become his universe. Everything seemed forever blissful. When one day, without warning, the sky turned grey. Thunder roared and rain poured, flooding the river. Its water came crashing and swept Narad's family away. As he swirled helplessly in that current, he suddenly found himself back in Vaikunt, standing before Vishnu. Narad, where's the water, Narad? I told you I'm thirsty. My wife, my children, my home. Maya, do you see now? This suffering comes from Maya. Forms an attachment to a material world that is transient. Attachment to the physical just as Brahmadev experienced with Shatru. us, makes us forget the infinite and pursue the finite, makes us forget the parbrahm, which is the only reality. When one loses Maya, he finds Moksha. yourself, Narad, there is going to be much Maya, which will dilute this human race. Alt, this is Vekunt. You cannot wander here. Who are you to stop us from entering? We are the gatekeepers of Vekunt. This is Jaya and I am Vijay. What is the difference? Jaya is the victory over one's own self, one's own mind and heart, thoughts and action. Vijaya is a victory over others. Our bodies appear infantile, but we are the Manasputras of Brahma. We are in quest of perpetual knowledge. Kindly inform Sri Hari that we would like to pay our respects to him. Kindly leave. He cannot see you. You boys are not even suitably attired. He will not receive you. Leave now. How can you both be so ignorant despite being so close to divinity? Sri Hari is always available for his devotees. It's you both who are keeping us away from him. You both are unworthy to stand here.
we curse you both that you shall lose your celestial form and be born as mortals on earth you prevented us from seeing shri hari now you too shall undergo separation from him save us lord Brahmas manas putras are pure souls. I cannot reverse their curse, but I can assign it a period of time. You can take either seven births as my devotees or three births as my enemies. Once you have served those lifetimes on earth, you shall be free to return to Vaikunt. Seven lifetimes on earth is too long a duration, Lord. We cannot bear to away from you for so many years. we would rather be reborn only 3 times even if it means as your foes but the world will revile you forever mock you and burn you let them all hate us if it means that we can return sooner to your love but grant us a favor destroy us yourself when we stand before you as your enemies and our mortal lives with your own hands so that we may once again enter vaikunt tathas jaya and vijaya after being cursed by the manas putras of brahma took birth as brothers hiranyaksha and hiranyakashipu during satya yug in treta yug they were born as brothers ravan and kumbhakaran and in dwapar yug they were born as shishupal and dantvakra reborn every time to be killed by the preserver shri hari himself <laughs> 